What's up guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm going to teach you all about gradient nails. So one thing that I'm asked all the time, because I do them all the time, is how do I achieve like the gradient nails? And I know I've done tutorials on it before, but I thought it'd be really helpful to give you guys more of an in-depth look. So when I'm talking about gradients, I'm talking about nails that fade on the top is one color, and then it fades down to another color, or the same going across or diagonal. There's so many different ways to do it. There's so many cool color combinations that you can pick. Okay, so when you're doing a gradient, there's one major thing that you're going to need, and that is a sponge. I literally just use face sponges. These are cosmetic sponges. They're little wedges. You can buy them in a convenience store. I buy mine from CVS. It doesn't matter if they have vitamin E in them or if they don't have vitamin E. It doesn't matter if they're synthetic or whatever sort of different materials. I have used so many different kinds before. This is actually not even the one that I usually use. The one that I use, I don't even know what's different about it because it looked the same in the package. This one came with a little bit more, so I was like, oh, what a good deal. But these ones are actually a little bit more porous, so my design is a little bit more spotty than usual. But I think it's totally fine. It all looks the same once you add top coat to it. So literally just cosmetic sponges, the cheapest ones you can find. Using white ones is easy because then you can see exactly what colors that you're applying onto it. You can use the other side. So yeah, cosmetic sponges, you're gonna need them. So the other thing that you might wanna use is liquid latex, and this is something that I've talked about a lot on my channel already. Basically, when you're sponging on polish onto your nail, you're gonna make a huge mess around your nail. And there's a few different tricks on how you can save that. You can just put tape around your nail, literally just regular scotch tape, and then you peel it off when you're done. What I used to use was Elmer's glue, so it's PVA glue. Put it in an empty nail polish bottle, I would paint it around my nail. I would let it dry, it took like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And then once that was done, I can sponge on my color. Now what they have is liquid latex and there are so many different brands. It's crazy. I've used a bunch of different brands. I actually have a whole video about all the different brands I've used before, but I actually just recently started trying a new one. This is Liquid Palisade and this was probably like the original brand that came out with it. You put it around your nail. It's purple. They have two different kinds. One is a really thin tip brush and one is thicker. If you want to do a design over your nail, you can actually paint this liquid latex over your nail and peel it off and it'll leave space where you paint it over it. So that's really cool. But yeah, like I said, it just makes your cleanup easier. Anything that you can do to clean up your nails easier. I know some people actually even put like Vaseline around their nail and then they just like wipe it off. But I wouldn't want to do that because I feel like that would get into the sponge and that could potentially ruin your design. I find that the best polishes to do a gradient with are creams. So most of the time when you're doing a gradient, you're gonna want to use a white base color. I have a whole video on my favorite white nail polishes that you guys can check out if you want, but basically you just want a polish that's gonna make the polishes that you're gradienting with to pop. So usually when I'm doing bright colors or if I'm doing light colors or really honestly, I'd say 90% of the time I use a white base coat for my gradient. So I'll paint on the white nail polish. I will let it dry completely and then I will sponge on my colors and you're gonna wanna do more than one coat usually just to make the colors really pop. If you're using a color scheme that's like really monochromatic, so like if you're doing like really light blue to really dark blue, you can use that as your base color because that's not gonna affect the other colors because it's still blue. But if you're doing something that's like pink, orange, yellow, you're gonna wanna use a white base coat for that because if you're using yellow as your base color, that's gonna make your pink look orange. So definitely keep that in mind. If you're doing a monochromatic gradient, use the lightest color in your monochrome. If you're doing a really colorful bright gradient, you're gonna wanna use a white base color. All right, so now that we've covered all the basics, I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth look on how to create the perfect gradient. You're always gonna to wanna to protect your nails with some base coat. I'm using KB Shimmer Basic Training. This is not just for gradients, this is for all manicures. Always use base coat. Once that's dry, I'm going to add my white polish. In this tutorial, I am using OPI Alpine Snow. Like I said, I have a whole video on my favorite white nail polishes. You guys can go check that out on my channel. Now I'm just gonna apply my liquid latex around my skin. In this one, I am using Liquid Palisade, the one I was talking about earlier, but you can use anything. If you can think of a liquid latex alternative, you can definitely use that as well, as long as you're protecting your skin. All right, so now I'm gonna take my cosmetic sponge and I'm using OPI Look At My Bow for the pink polish, and I'm just going to really apply a ton of it to my sponge. I'm starting at the tip of the sponge and I'm gonna work my way down, really saturating the sponge with my pink polish. 
Then I'm going to take my blue polish. This is OPI Rich Girls and Poe Boys. And obviously you guys don't have to use these two colors. You can use any colors you want in any way you want. But I'm just going to do a slightly overlapping lines. Again, I'm going to really saturate the sponge. I want the sponge to be totally wet with nail polish. That's the only way this is going to work. Then I'm going to go over with my nail and my sponge and I'm just going to dab it on moving up and down and then also side to side just to get that smooth consistent gradient. Now you can tell already that it's not going to work in the first coat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply my polishes to my sponge because like I said we want it to be totally saturated the whole time. And then I'm just going to go back to my nail and I'm going to sponge on a couple more coats. For this look, because I'm using such light bright colors, it did take me three coats, but usually you can do a little bit less, like one or two coats. Now I'm just going to peel off my liquid latex, which was protecting my skin, and you can see it really made a huge difference in cleanup. I'm just going to go over it with my concealer brush and some acetone just to clean up that line and fix it nicely. But basically, you're all done. And then you just add your top coat. I'm using KB Shimmer Clearly on Top top coat, and this will actually smooth out your gradient a lot too, so it'll make it look a lot more consistent rather than lumpy. And that's it. So it's really easy. You can do vertical gradients, you can do horizontal gradients, you can do diagonal ones, and of course you can do any color combination that you can dream of. More than two colors is totally fine too. All right, so that's all of my tips and tricks for you guys on how to create the perfect ombre gradient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Definitely share with me your ombre and gradient designs. I'd love to see them. You can use the hashtag Kelly Marissa on social media. I'll put all of my social media links in the description so you guys can message me on there and show me all of your beautiful designs because I really want to see. And if you guys have any other ideas for different types of videos like this where you want to learn, definitely let me know. Leave it in the comments. I would love to hear hear what other tips and tricks I can share with you guys because I think it's really fun just to teach you all of the things that I've learned over the last few years of doing nail art. All right, yeah, so that's actually it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to learn more tips and tricks. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, check it out. My shirt says, take a hike.